<laughs> come on. When we thought it could, uh, it was calming down after being so wild and wacky all night. It's like we're gonna have a free one check here for the Super X cars. And the number ten car, Kent Cassidy Senior, in a very dangerous situation. So the yellow came out. One line. And now we go to the three most exciting words in motorsport. Three. And the thing you have to worry about if you're John Yagman is that Peter Pollard and Did Mike Maskell start one have both line? gotten better as the race got longer. They have better cars now than they did at the start of the race. And that has to be a little bit of a concern for John Yagman. And John actually does have a little bit bigger car than Peter and Mike. So it's going to take him another half a lap to get up to speed. That might just slow him down enough to let those two guys right on by. And remember, the Mohawk man had such a big lead, he could have been conserving something in that car just in case he needed it. On a double pile restart with two laps to go, and that is exactly what has unfolded. So the cakewalk has turned into a cliffhanger. Now let's see, and he will, Rich Peter will double up the field. That means the next time they get the line, we will determine the outcome. It will be a two-lap angle for the trophy. Well, it'll be very interesting to see what kind of restart John Yagman will get. Oh, As Mark Case pointed out, it might take a while for that car to reach its full potency. But we are about to find out. The conjecture is over. The action is about to resume. The lights are still flashing on the pace car which means we will have at least one more rehearsal lap. Now the white flag is out. One time to watch here on these restarts, that number 16 of Ed Ryan, he's been real quick on every restart here tonight. Don't be surprised if he tries to put it to the outside, going into turn one and make it a three-wide situation. Yeah, we haven't had many restarts tonight, but keeper flying, Ed Ryan has definitely been a factor. So now the moment of truth has arrived. The pace car has disappeared, and the arena belongs to our Super X-Car Gladiators. Two laps dash to determine who will win the loot. Yankman getting off to a green start. Hold on, guys. Guys, wait.
So we will talk to our top three, and a driver who really came on strong at the end. His storybook season continues in car number 89, Peter Power! <laughs> Looks like you really ran a smart race tonight, Peter. Very conservative at the beginning, and then you caught fire in the second half of the race. How did it look to you? It, it felt good. Um, car was a little off. Aspel did a great job going forward. Uh, Eggman had a great car. Uh, just want to thank everybody out there. Good Another consistent performance by the driver of car number 89, Peter Pollard. And now let's meet our point leader. He will continue to be on the top rung of the ladder. The Lavender Lightning Bolt in car number 31, Mike Baskell. Mike, we didn't talk about you too much for the first half of the race, and then all of a sudden, you were unbelievable. What happened? I got stuck back in traffic, and then it opened up, and uh, got a good lead, and kept on coming. Did you think you had a chance on that double file restart to maybe get a victory? A little chance. I thought so, maybe, but uh, John got a good restart, and Pete got a good start on the outside, and not much I could do. The car got tight again, and uh, just, uh, I just want to thank a couple sponsors if I can. Uh, Pete, Coast Stunt, Coast Road, 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 Coast like the Mohawk man we used to know tonight. Yeah, what happened? That was a I, I don't know. I'm fired tonight, but uh, before that last launch, I didn't see the one behind me, so I was, I was kind of happy with that, but I, I don't really want 100 pounds, but I ain't listening. So. What did you think when the caution came out and you knew that big lead? It just vanished in the thin air. Yeah, it was like a checkered caution, so then they made it two to go, but I don't know. It's not the first time I've been in that position, so. He was ready in a big way. Who do you have to thank for tonight's victory? It's got to be the exhaust system. Pops exhaust is the best. <laughs> okay, Pops is tops. And so is this man in car number nine, John Yagman. And that is a story. And what a Wednesday night. We'll take a couple days to regroup, and then we hope we'll see everybody on Friday for show and go. And don't forget, return to the bowl on Saturday for nostalgia night. See if Kid Rock keeps